Welcome back to Brush Up Your Game. I'm David, and this is Iceman from Marvel United, uh, specifically First Class Marvel United. Um, I'm a fan of Iceman. I, I like the the character uh, in the the comics, the stories. I, I think that uh, Iceman got a kind of a raw deal in the movies. It hasn't been explored enough. I, I hope. We get more of Iceman because ice powers freezing people needs to be explored more because there's, there's a lot that can be done that's not just, and I freeze you. It's not too close to time. Uh, but I think there's there's more that can happen there. Uh, but yeah. I, not the most interesting sculpt. Still, I mean, still cool because of the the snowball being projected out of his his left arm there uh, a lot of cool work that can be done with paint and and i like that uh, i i just i'm a sucker for the other ice man sculpt with the translucent so uh, i i like that one better but uh, ice man does have have decent sculpts um, as for the character with seven moves six punches and two heroics um, Iceman is definitely a a contender for one of the best movement characters in the game, uh, and, and with the ice slide specials, we'll, we'll, we'll get to those. Uh, he is also a great team player uh, when it comes to to movement. I think one of the the dynamic pieces that uh, makes Iceman shine. And, and can help a lot is that those ice slides are great in a four player game and, and a lot of characters get worse in larger player games but Iceman gets better and, and how do I want to go about that um, I think that something gets lost in uh, Marvel United when when you're playing with only two characters and, and when you go to three or you go to four you get to explore some more depth yeah it, it's great that we can see a lot of good in, in everything that happens and all these different player counts and, and all the variety that exists and, and, and we should highlight that but Iceman is a character that succeeds when the play group is bigger um, which is something to, to just be aware of now Iceman has three single moves and, and what that means is you want to pair Iceman or, or set Iceman up after or sorry Iceman goes before a character that has like no moves and lots of attacking uh, I'm I'm thinking of uh, someone like Thor or Beta Ray Bill. Some characters that are these bulky, I'm here to attack, uh, and I don't move, or, you know, they've got like the two moves in their, their hand. Um, which, again, Iceman's about being team players. What Iceman needs preceding him to set him up to be a good team player is somebody with a lot of symbols somebody with more I, i'd argue for the heroics but heroics and punches uh, so that iceman can make great use of his movement to get around the board and, and get where he needs to go address the problems and if you don't have that if he's got another movement character he's not going to do anything so I think that the, the combinations, the setups, even within just the the first class set, I, I think you can set them up nicely with Beast. I think he also sets up pretty nicely with Marvel Girl before him. And Cyclops to an extent. Um, but Cyclops is not your best bet. Where, um, where Iceman is going to shine is having another character like um, 
even like a Captain Marvel. Uh, sorry, Captain America. Captain Marvel would also be pretty good. Uh, Iron Man, Spider Man. Uh, you just got to think characters that are giving out lots of actions. And, and when you have that, Iceman's going to be pretty good. So, um, you know, other cards of note. The move punch, move heroic, double punch. Uh, his free specials having move punch. Those are really nice. Uh, here's what I like. Uh, the free special. And, and two copies of this. They're identical. Attach a frozen token to a villain in your location. Next villain turn. That villain cannot move. And the token is discarded. Think about the number of times that villains are moving and doing something because they moved. Uh, Rhino is the first one that sprung to mind when I, when I was prepping to talk about Iceman. Because Rhino is charging a lot of the time. He is moving, and based on how far he moves, he deals damage. Well, if Rhino moves zero, he's not doing anything. A and that's going to really put a wrench in his plans. Kingpin. If Kingpin can't move to pick up the next plan token, the card's still used, Kingpin now cannot win based on Iceman stopping him. Uh, Kingpin can't win by picking up his six plan tokens. You've bought yourself time. Granted, it's a almost coin flip of does Kingpin have uh, that type of card coming or just a standard card? Now, is that cheese? Yeah, it is. But if you find yourself struggling with it, Iceman can really mess them up. Uh, and I think cards like that uh, give you a bigger chance against some tougher villains that might otherwise be pretty challenging. But let's go and look at Ice Slide, right? I, I mentioned it here in the open it is one of the reasons I, I like Iceman. So Ice Slide, you place a frozen token in your location. Heroes may leave this location without performing a move. At the beginning of your next turn, you discard the token. So basically, you can just slide right on through. And, and that's a cool idea. It's, you're still spending a move to get there. But once you're there, you get to leave for free. Um, which means you can set it up as a pass-through location, or you can set it up as, hey, people need to get here. Next character maybe is somebody that moves other people uh, with them, so you can bring a bunch of people in, and then people get to leave there for free. Uh, their uh, Vulture, we talked about Vulture a couple weeks ago. Vulture sends heroes to the other side of the board. Well, if Iceman goes first and sets up an ice slide in his location, now everybody gets to depart that location that Vulture just sent everybody to for free. It's a really cool idea to, to kind of mitigate this bad that's happened and get you back on track to dealing with the problems that you actually wanted to deal with. Um, I don't know. I, I think there's just some some cool ideas that Iceman has. Yes, pun intended. Uh, cool. Yeah. Um, but into the day, I, I do f struggle with him from a symbol standpoint. But I like the team aspect that he brings because these ice slides enable so much movement. He's bringing a decent chunk of movement to the team. And the freeze, he can really change the, the outlook of a boss uh, because you know that that boss is going to be there. That gives people time to get to that location. It lets people also know that they might need to stay away from that location if the boss, bam, uh, in that location or adjacent locations is, is really something not good. You can say, I'm going to stay away. 
because I don't want that KO effect happening to me. And and there's very few characters that have effects that lock a villain in place. Iceman does it does it twice in the game potentially, assuming you can draw the right cards. Um, I think from that standpoint, you just kind of got to roll with it. So I, I like Iceman. I, I think that uh, there's some some kind of go with the flow that you got to do um you got to know when to play those ice slides and the beginning certainly is a good time because everybody's at the same place uh, if you can get everybody or a lot of people to the same place or if you need people to just kind of pass through that also works uh, but setting up freeze you know it, it comes down to to some strategy and some all right, uh, is this the round we want the villain not to move, or is it going to be next round? Like, we got to think, okay, are we ready to make our move? Do we want to just hold him there? Because, you know, if we need to move on location five, but the villain's sitting at location six, then we can go deal with location five and then get over to location six. Again, choices. They're good. Uh, and, you know, all comes down to how you're going to work as a group. Iceman enables a lot of that play. So uh, I feel like I'm rambling, kind of going over to the same things, but um, Iceman works really well, uh, both with the other first class characters and with a wide variety of other heroes uh, that I think you don't have to pick too much of, of um, who you're going to team up with Iceman. Uh, I'm sure there's some characters that really play super well with him but uh, i haven't encountered like somebody being this amazing combo for him i just think that he works nice uh in a lot of setups so anyway uh, that's it for me thank you all for watching and until next time keep brushing up your game take care